What's going on guys? Nova here, obviously. And I uh, got a little bit of an update video for you. It'll probably be uh, a long one, at least I'm predicting, because I have a lot of stuff to talk about in this update video. I'll probably just uh, do like I usually do for channel updates and throw up some random random gameplay in the background of just some random game. doesn't really matter. Since that's not really the focal point anyway, it's just kind of there. Um, but a couple things, uh, a couple things to talk about in regards to, uh, like future playthroughs, uh, stuff like that. Um, the first on my list is, uh, LA Noir, which comes out this Tuesday, I believe. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to be doing a playthrough of it, uh, what I'm going to be doing exactly when it comes to this game, because I, I had wanted to do a playthrough of it. Uh, I, I still want to do a playthrough of it, but I'm not sure uh, what's going to happen with, with copyright strikes and all that. I, I obviously don't want to go anywhere near uh, a company that's really heavy on copyright strikes, because that same deal happened with uh, with Fallout, and it sucks when you get hit with copyright strikes. So I don't want to, you know, I want to play it as safe as possible when it comes to stuff like that. And um, basically, what we were told, because uh, as most of you guys might know, Rockstar is really heavy on um, their games. I guess being kind of sealed up when it comes to stories and uh, storylines, I guess, and then cutscenes, endings, stuff like that. Uh, they'll usually pull down all videos on YouTube that show cutscenes and stuff like that. And uh, basically what, what Machinima had told us, the directors, is that uh, it's pretty much on us whether or not we want to go ahead and do L.A. Noir. But it, we're pretty much encouraged to cut out the cutscenes and the ending. So it would pretty much be a playthrough with just gameplay. Which, like, for a game like GTA, for a game like Red Dead and stuff, it, it really does cut out a lot of the the meat of the game. Because it would pretty much be like me driving from A to B, and then, I, you know, it'll probably be a cutscene, and then after that I'd probably do the mission, or a little bit of the mission, and then it'd be another cutscene, something like that. But it's a really heavy cutscene. It's a, it's a cutscene heavy game. And to to have to cut out all the cutscenes and stuff like that, I think it would be kind of lousy. But uh, what I'm planning on doing, I'm still up in the air about it. What I did was I directly contacted Take Two, which is the company that usually pulls down the videos on YouTube. I directly contacted them to see if I would be able, like, if they would give me permission to do videos on La Noir. I figure it would kind of be like. Uh, you know when when somebody usually steals a dollar from like another kid, a kid steals a dollar from another kid, but if that kid would have just asked the other kid for the dollar, then uh, maybe you know there was a chance that that kid could have just gave him the dollar and he didn't have to go and steal it. So I kind of took that approach on this, and maybe with me asking them to do the videos, if I if I asked them if I could have permission to do the videos, maybe they'll allow me to do them, but. Either way, no matter what they say, even if they tell me no, I'll probably still end up doing it anyway. Or I'll end up doing it, uh, if they end up saying no, what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'll probably do the playthrough on a second channel. Um, and if you guys really want to see the playthrough in full, uh, you guys can go ahead on another channel and watch it with cutscenes and all. And here on my channel, I might just put up the the gameplay so it, it might take a little bit more effort to get done so I'll have like a playthrough on a second channel with cutscenes and all uh, with no filters anything like that and then here on my channel would kinda be the more censored version with no cutscenes I probably wouldn't put the ending on here it would just pretty much be pure gameplay and uh, and you guys can still watch it here so either way uh, you can you can still kind of watch them. Hopefully, with just the gameplay, I don't get hit with any copyright strikes on my channel. And then, you know, if the other channel gets hit with copyright strikes, then it doesn't really matter. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm not throwing my second channel out there just yet because I want to see what they say to me in an email. If they email me back, if they don't email me back in time, then I'll go ahead and, and go through with that plan. But that's pretty much 
my uh, my agenda when it comes to L.A. Noir and the playthrough for it. Because I do want to play it, and I would like to do a playthrough of it. It's just kind of a, a hassle here of what of what you got to go through to, to get it done. Um, next up is uh, Infamous. Infamous comes out early June, I believe. And uh, I wanted to do some stuff with the beta, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Uh, they just actually restored PSN Network. Uh, or, you know, just PSN, I think, <laughs> PlayStation Network Network, that's pretty much what I just said, but, uh, they restored PSN, and, uh, I, the shop isn't up yet, so I can't redeem the codes that some people have sent me to see if they're actually legit, to see if I can download the, the beta, but, uh, as far as playthrough-wise goes, uh, some of you guys may know, if you guys are keeping up with Machinima, on Machinima Respawn, they started this new Let's Play thing called, like, Hump Day Let's Play, where uh, certain directors were picked out to do Let's Plays for the Respawn channel, and uh, I, I think the first person that got uh, the Let's Play was uh, Mr. Phantasmo. You guys might have seen uh, his Let's Play go up. Pretty much what happens is they allow you to post the first ten parts on one day, all right after another, like one after the other, after the other, after the other, on Machinima Respawn. So you have the possibility of getting 10 uploads on Machinima Respawn, um, and they start off your Let's Play for you, and then after all 10 go up on Machinima Respawn, then you can freely post the rest on your channel. So, I was one of the people that were contacted for that. I was one of the people that was, was offered a spot for this. And the the game that I requested that I wanted to do was Infamous 2. And uh, so basically, if, if they allow me to do that, what would happen is my first 10 episodes of Infamous 2, the playthrough, would go up on Machinima Respawn. Hopefully, nothing nothing goes wrong with it. And then the rest of the single player and the campaign and all that would be here on my channel. And what I'm, what I'm planning to do is at the same time that the, the 10 episodes are being uploaded over there. I might do a few of those challenge mission things, those custom map missions that uh, you can play on Infamous 2 here on my channel. But I don't know, that's that's pretty much uh, the plan for Infamous 2. So I got the plan for LA Noir, I got the plan for Infamous 2. Something's bound to go wrong because <laughs> nothing, nothing ever goes the way that I plan it. So I, I don't know. Um, also, I do have something planned for Machinima Realm, but I guess it's kind of early to say anything about that. I'll probably mention that in a link video when that eventually goes up, if it does, if we go through with it. Um, other than that, uh, last time last time I made a little update video was when I was announcing my t-shirts. If you guys have received your t-shirts, let me know how they are. I, I received my t-shirt, like I said, uh, I said on Creature Talk. I received my t-shirt, it, it smelled a little bit, but I washed it and it's in perfect condition. Uh, I just got the other t-shirt like last week or so, so I'm sure you guys are starting to get your t-shirts now in the mail. So if you're getting them in the mail, let me know in the comments or whatever uh, how the t-shirts are, how you're liking the t-shirts and all that. I'm thinking about going and uh, looking into some more designs now, maybe two or three new designs to add to the shop pretty soon since uh, you guys are really liking these these t-shirts and uh, like I said before if you guys have any ideas for the t-shirts just leave them in the comments I for the most part read a lot of the comments um, lately though I've I've kinda cut back on reading my my PM's my private messages so if you guys are sending me private messages it might be a while until I respond to you usually I, I I've been taking like an hour or two and sitting down and responding to a lot of these messages but it's getting so chaotic in my inbox and I'm getting a bunch of spam and I'm getting spammed with with uh, these these uh, spam bots that uh, spam bots spam bots what am what is wrong with me right now uh, that are just sending me this sub for sub website thing and just a bunch of advertisements in my in my inbox and it's getting really annoying to have so many of them mixed in with all of you guys sending me messages uh, so if you want to contact me more directly I would say to 
follow me on Twitter and send me a message on Twitter because that's probably the most direct way that you could get a hold of me. Um, but yeah, other than that though, guys, just keep up with the support, keep up, keep doing what you're doing, uh, keep rating the videos, if you really like the videos, then you can favorite the videos, uh, and, uh, you know, just spread your love, spread your love everywhere that you can, I guess, but hopefully that answers some questions in regards to some of these playthroughs, like L.A. Noir, Infamous, and, uh, I guess that'll wrap things up, that'll wrap this update video up, Bye -bye.